My name is Tracy McGrath from Educational Technology. Today we are going to learn how to insert an image or media from the gallery into our Smart Notebook pages. I'm going to use this example of a lesson that I am creating on amphibians. So what I would like to do in my lesson on amphibians is find a picture of a frog. On the left hand side of my screen I'm going to look for the gallery tab that is the second tab. At the very top of the tab I'm going to type in I'm going to do a search for a frog. Okay, you'll notice in the bottom of this screen or the bottom of my search um, I have 62 items for frogs. Of those 62 items, I found 36 pictures. So you see there are some clip art images here. There's photographs, there's tadpoles, there's froglets. Many options to choose from. I also have um, eight interactive and multimedia. Okay, so let me show you this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go drag out the na uh, the frog. So in the corner here, there's a small speaker icon. I can make that bigger so you can see it. So that means that if I click on this, I'm going to hear the sound of a frog. If I don't want this image in my page, I simply click the delete button on my keyboard and I can find something else. Okay, so I'll click on my pictures and I'm going to drag a picture of a frog out here. This is my amphibian. Okay, so this is a simple image and images are a great way to enhance your lessons. Another great way to enhance your lesson is by using the interactive multimedia. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my next slide, or my next notebook page, excuse me, and I want to drag out this image of the frog guts. This is actually a flash activity um, that was created by www.frogguts.com that when you move it out here it allows you to do a virtual frog dissection. So it says to press the pin button along the toolbar so we can secure the, the frog. So here's a pin and I'm simply going to click inside on these click on the pin and then click on my X's or drag the pin to the X. There we go. And now I have a completely interactive activity that I can use with my students to simulate a frog dissection. So I hope you found this demonstration helpful of how to um, insert images and multimedia into your pages and I hope that this helps you to make your Smart Notebook lessons more interactive for your students. This is Tracy McGrath. I hope you enjoyed this technology tidbit.